Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're going to be talking about my favorite subject, balls. How long do they last on your shelf? How long do they last after you pop them open? What are the best balls? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so good morning to everybody out there. If you guys see like a bigger cup today, um, it's because it is. I usually walk in there and I've seen the same person for the past two weeks. Her name is Jackie and it's a J-A-C-Q-U-I, Jack A. And she's been giving me coffee um, for the last two weeks. She's new over there. And for some reason, she gave me a large today. I always order a small and she gave me a large. I probably looked like I needed a large when I ordered it this morning. So thank you, Jack A, for hooking it up. But the real coffee sponsor of today is Ryan from Toronto, Canada. Ryan writes, really enjoy the content from rackets and strings to dampeners and tennis elbow 35 plus years deep into my tennis journey and i've learned a lot from this channel not sure whether you've ever done a video on balls tennis balls how many hours of play before you should open up a new can how do brands differ are some more appropriate for particular purposes i.e. Uh, matches, practice, or for certain surfaces. Thanks again for keeping us informed, Ryan. Oh, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate the question. I'm actually going to answer your question on today's segment. So if you want to be my coffee sponsor, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you everyone in advance. I got the large today. All right, Ryan asked a lot of interesting questions about tennis balls and let me tackle one of the first uh, questions that everybody seems to ask me. So my kid opened this one a week ago, literally seven days ago, and I didn't get a chance to play with it because we had two cans she popped open the second one and i didn't get to this this ball so as you can see it's a brand new ball about seven days old never played with now bring it in look at how soft that got look how like it's i've never hit it but look at how soft that got so as soon as you open up this can of balls, it starts to lose air. It starts to soften up. So don't open the can of balls unless you plan on playing with it immediately because they do go dead fairly quickly. Okay? So don't open it up. Now, if we're talking about new balls here, how long do balls actually stay when you don't open it, when it's not open, when that's still on on the, uh, the cap? So here's the thing. It's going to last you about 6 to 12 months in storage. So think of it this way. You guys ever have a 2-liter bottle of soda at home, you know, with the twist cap? Have you ever opened one of those up a year later? It's not very fizzy anymore, right? It may not be very fizzy at all. It's the same thing with this. It will like lose air. It will seep out and flatten itself out over that kind of year uh, wait. So if you're going to store balls, make sure you use them within six months to a year to keep them fresh, okay? Now, 
here in the States, most of the time we only have hard courts. Therefore, most of these are extra duty felt, right? Extra duty felt, extra duty felt. So these are all meant for hard courts. There are balls specifically made for grass and specifically made for clay. In recent times, they've actually come out with an all court ball, meaning that you can use the ball on any surface. You have every brand start, that started to make one, like the fed ball in this was that ball too. So with this ball, you can play on every surface. What's the difference though? What's the difference? So when you're playing on a hard court, obviously the balls bounce a little faster and the fuzz actually, the fuzz, which is the felt will be whacked off faster. Therefore they put more fuzz on there. Extra duty felt, more felt. So it doesn't get naked so fast. What's the felt for? Actually, the felt is actually to slow down the ball. When there's less felt in there, the ball travels faster. So that's why extra duty. If you've ever hit with a regular duty felt ball before, you will notice the balls are going a little faster because there's not as much felt to slow it down. Okay? So now, what are the best balls though and why? So here's the thing, we only carry, we carry these balls here, but I don't usually play with these because I know how they bounce. They don't bounce very high, they're not very lively. It's kind of like what you'd expect from a drugstore can of balls. Let's say I forgot my balls and I had to go to the drugstore at night, which I've done many times and paid a lot of money for this can of balls because I, had, I forgot balls. And a lot of you know this as the Costco ball. Now, for most people, it's fine. For the ball connoisseurs, you know what I'm talking about. So this particular ball, as soon as you crack it open, the bounce is different than these balls. You know that they're slower. You know that they don't bounce so fast or so high. You know that when you impart spin on it, that it's not gonna jump so much. And whenever people ask me, well, how long does the balls usually last? And I was like, well, this particular ball, if you're playing a match, will last you from practice through the first set. After the first set, you will notice a steep drop in the bounce of this ball. It will not be bouncing very high anymore. And that's what pretty, you know, that's competitive play. Okay. Now, when you go into like the premium version of this, which is the marathon here, the pro pen marathon, you'll notice that it's a little firmer, a little faster, um, get a better bounce out of it. And you'll get two full sets out of this ball. So practice, you know, warm up, and two full sets. When you get into a third set, you'll start seeing the drop off in this one. So that's why in a lot of matches, um, you should change uh, balls after two sets, okay? I would say the same with this. The tour is the same. The ATP tour is the same. This Technofiber is the same. So you'll get two great sets out of it along with the warm up and then you'll have to change a ball because it will be that noticeable, okay? So people ask me, what's the difference all the time? One set, two sets. Now that is basically match play though. For most of us out there just kind of rallying and messing around, unless you're a connoisseur of balls, you're probably not gonna notice what I just told you. But if you are, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So people who 
basically take this out and play with it, the open can, or if you've used it once before and you're using it again tomorrow, I mean, if you're rallying, it probably doesn't matter that much, but if you're preparing for a match uh, or preparing league play, you probably want to open up a new can of balls every time. This thing was super popular. I feel like in the 70s and the 80s, at least that's when I've, I've been around. And does it work? It does, actually. I mean, it's the, the instructions are a little kind of uh, not complicated, but interesting. Like, I think the instructions make it seem like it's, it's not worth it, but if you've ever tried pumping balls in this thing, like if I were to put this in here, I'd definitely juice these back up again. It does work, okay? So if you wanna preserve your balls, invest in one of these, because it will um, help the bounce and help um, extend the life of these balls. This thing can help you preserve your old balls until you know, pretty much they're naked because you can whack all the fuzz. You'll have a naked tennis ball, but it'll still help it bounce because it'll keep keeping it fresh. As long as you keep it in this thing, right? It'll keep the pressure in the ball. So yeah, if it's, even if it's naked, it'll still bounce. Okay. But nothing beats a fresh can of balls. All right. So Let's go over what we just talked about. <laughs> Shelf life of tennis balls is six months to a year, okay? There are different surface balls, clay, hard, and grass. There are different types of balls, regular, extra duty, and all court now. So once you open up this can of balls, if you're finicky like me, like we done with them after we done playing today. Okay, if you're not, get one of these and preserve them. And then you can store them for you know, as long as you want. I guess you keep compressing the air back in there. It'll keep bouncing. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Man, it's windy today. Am I at the right club? Where is this wind coming from? I should have restrung my racket. My eyes are so itchy. My socks don't quite. How feel am I gonna right? deal with this wind? Man, it's windy today. I gotta make sure I, I tie these. Is stringing those Man, I shoes at home. today. Why is it so freaking windy today? Tight. Where is nah, that water bottle? Did, did I, did I remember my? Where is this wind coming from? Where is my phone? Was I supposed to get my kid from school? Yeah, I think I lost my water. Do I don't need a water bottle. Life or my did I bring the right ball? I think I need day. a massage. Man, did I have enough coffee? Maybe today? I should have worn How am I going to deal with this wind? Screen today? Let's open the APEAK app and find my Zen. As you prepare for your match, let's talk briefly about consistency. Time to play. <laughs>